Hi, this is JC Magsalin. I'm a bass player, uh, orchestrator, and music educator here in Manila, Philippines. And I'd like to share with you my finale workflow in creating exercises for class. So in this case, I have an exercise for my arranging class, and it's a voicing exercise. And as you can see, I have adjacent staff systems with centered note heads. So let's get to it. So let's open up Finale. Let's use the launch window. Set up wizard. Grave, st grave style. Grand staff. Uh, exercise number one. Okay, voicing. So in this case, I would like to have just, let's say, four measures. Four measures for questions. <coughs> Okay, so I'd like to start off with just one measure for a system. So I'd click the measure, press down on the arrow key, and click on a measure and down on the arrow key. Or you could do it uh, this way. Uh, where is it? Can't remember because I, I memorized the shortcut key. So it's Command Shift M. Lock layout with one measure per system. That would be easier, faster. Okay, now I'd like to have the system margins all the same. So I'd go to page layout. So first select all. Select all the systems. Go to page layout. Systems, edit margins. And I'd like to set this to 0.50. Uh, five, 5.5 and... 1.2. See what that gives us. Sorry, 2. Point 0.2. Not too big. There. So now you have uh, these small staff systems where you could put your the mel melody notes to be harmonized. Uh, in this case, you'd want to move this staff system adjacent to the first staff system. Uh, by default, Finale won't let you do it. Sorry. Move that back. Select this one. So by default, Finale won't let you do it because the margins would be colliding, colliding with, with each other. So you have to uncheck this. Go to Page Layout and uncheck Avoid Margin Collisions. So now, when you move the, mar uh, the staff system beside the first one, Automatically, it now allows you to have margins that overlap each other. I think that would be good. Okay, so let's try to clean this up. Uh, let's remove the time signature. So go to staff tool, staff, edit staff attributes. So let's uncheck uh, display uh, rest in empty measures and time signatures. Let's do it for the base clef also. There you have it. Oh, if you could see what I did here was an invisible bar line. So let's remove the bar line also. Select all. Selection tool. Right click. Bar line. Invisible. Let's also remove the measure numbers. Again, you don't need to. Uncheck, uncheck. So now we have a clean adjacent staff system. And now let's put on the melody notes to be harmonized by the students. So let's just say you have those. Delete this one. And if you notice, the notes are on the left side of the measure. So in this case, I wanted it to be in the middle for uh, exercise purposes. So what you want to do is to go to the plugins. Sorry, select all first. Go to plugins. Go to JW plugins. I actually downloaded this one. So I'll just post the link that, uh, down in the information. So it's JW change. If you go to uh, note entries, you can see horizontal position. Let's see. Let's now adjust the horizontal position of the note entry. Let's say by one step. Let's see where it goes. Too much. 
see about 0.7 or 0.6 yeah that would be good so now you have it you have adjacent staff systems with the nodes in the middle of the staff or at least approximately in the middle of the staff system so now you could just put the cords on top of it so Major seven, yeah. Just move it around. See, there you have it. That's how I did this exercise for the students. All right. Thanks. Have a great day.